Hello, Reading Public Schools community. In this week's video, I'm going to share some updates around COVID-19 test kits for our students, Massachusetts Teacher of the Year, and also National School Counseling Week. And I'll also move into shout outs, and the shout outs will include some students at Barrows, Coolidge, and RMHS. So to start, in last week's update, I shared some, uh, some news about our shift in our test COVID-19 testing protocols. Uh, which in alignment with DESE and DPH guidance will now be providing test kits to our uh, students to take home. On Monday, uh, we'll be providing the access to our students and providing these test kits to our students. If you are interested, please make sure to sign the opt-in form and again your student will come home with a test kit on Monday. Uh, secondly, DESE is now seeking nominations for the Massachusetts Teacher of the Year. So we are looking for students, staff members, family members uh, who know some of our excellent teachers in the RPS community uh, to celebrate and recognize them through making a nomination. Uh, if you do submit a nomination, uh, one of our RPS teachers, we ask that you also consider letting our central office team know about this so we can also thank and recognize uh, this RPS staff member for their excellent contributions to our community. And also I'd like to make the community aware that next week is National School Counseling Week. I think we all know the tremendous impact that our school counselors have on our students, uh, both academically and social and emotionally. So please take this chance next week to thank one of our school counselors for their excellent work and leadership uh, in our Reading Public Schools community. So now shifting into um, some shout outs, we'll start with an up, a shout out to some of our students at the Coolidge Middle School. Uh, so every semester at Coolidge, sixth grade students finish their computer science enrichment by creating an app idea and pitching it on their own version of the show, Shark Tank. They are judged on their understanding of computer science, design, and problem solving processes. Their creation should be something that will help their community. Coolidge invites teachers, administrations, and eighth grade uh, administrators and eighth grade alumni entrepreneurs to judge the presentations and ask them questions about their work. The judges take the role of philanthropic investors who want to see a new app that can make a positive change in the world. The students recently completed their pitches and demonstrated their skills as young entrepreneurs. We'd like to thank all of those who participate as judges, and especially like to thank all of our uh, Coolidge Shark Tank young entrepreneurs. Uh, I think you did the community proud, and I'm very excited to see you all on Shark Tank someday. Also, like to thank members of our Barrows uh, Elementary community. So, Barrows recently participated in the Buy a Bed donation program. So, Buy a Bed is a program for the Mission of Deeds in Reading, and beds cost ninety dollars each. Barrows asks students to do chores at home to earn a dollar. This community event is held each year at Barrows during the month of December. Last year, Barrows students raised enough to donate 30 beds, and this year, 50. The Barrows staff is really proud of their students and their commitment to helping others in our own community. So again, a huge shout out to all of the students in the Barrows community who helped to make our community a better place and support those in need. Also, lastly, I'd like to transition to some individual shout outs to members of our RMHS community. Uh, first, our shout-out goes to um, uh, Jackie Malley, who Jackie, congratulations to Jackie on the RMHS girls basketball team, who recently scored her thousandth point in front of a large crowd at the Hawks Fieldhouse against Woburn. So in the written um, update this week, there's a, an article about Jackie in the orbit, uh, which talks about some of her successes, and also you see here a picture of the Malley family. So congratulations to Jackie. We'd also like to give a shout out to uh, Liam Sinot, who was also recently named to the All National Honor Ensemble's Mixed Choir. Uh, Liam was uh, one of 240 students nationwide to be selected for this prestigious group, again for the All National Honors Ensemble's Mixed Choir. So a huge shout out to Liam. I'd also like to give a shout out to some of the uh, some members of our RMHS community who have been recognized for their artwork. So this is around the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. The Scholastic Art and Writing Awards are the nation's longest running, most prestigious recognition program for creative teens. In Massachusetts alone last year, there were 10,361 art and writing entries. And jurors look for work that exemplifies the award's core values, originality, technical skill, and the emergence of a personal voice or vision. And we're thrilled to share that the six RMHS students have been named as winners, Jackie Cole, Emily Preston, Claire Jenkins, Eric Pedarosi, Colin Williamson, and Abigail Lebovich. So congratulations to Jackie, Emily, Claire, Eric, uh, Colin, and Abigail um, for their uh, recognition for this prestigious honor. And lastly, we'd also like to thank uh, two members of the RMHS broadcasting class who just completed the class, Ryan Branson uh, and Caitlin Puglia, who throughout the semester helped us put together all of these videos. 
So now that they've you know, moved forward in the course, uh, we'd like to take a minute just to thank them for all their efforts in both filming, uh, editing, and also helping us to publish these videos each week. So huge thank you to Ryan and Caitlin. We hope that everyone in our RPS community had a great week. Hope you enjoy the weekend. Go Rockets.